D'Amico, that was maybe his Mona Lisa. That was maybe his best per- performance yet in, in the divisional round in Lambeau. What a time. Kyle was interesting. His offense didn't score. Uh, and yet, as a game manager, he kind of made a ton of right decisions. How would you assess Kyle? How would you assess Kyle's performance and and why – first, let's start with this. Why couldn't the offense score in Green Bay? Answer that first. Why couldn't the offense score? What was the problem there? Side comments. The Mona Lisa never got finished. So let's – this this year, let's hope we finish that. Let's put our final brush strokes with the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle Kyle Shanahan really was a game manager. Um, I really think that's one of the things that's been the knock on the um, leadership in late games – against Kyle Shanahan. And I even tweeted it. Uh, it was something that they were doing in about the end of the first half. As soon as the run started to work, they abandoned it. And it's just something that is a recurring theme. But I feel like for the first time with confidence, I can say Shanahan took what was given to him mm-hmm. and realized, you know what? I've got this defense, just like I had in the, in, in, in the Super Bowl. I don't need to dump this on my offense to light up the scoreboard. And I think he realized it's cold. It's snowing. It's Aaron Rodgers. It's about keeping him on the sidelines. And I just feel like Kyle Shanahan, like an Alex Smith style of football, really just started attacking the clock. And if there's one thing, the Niners should have won the the first matchup. But they left, what, 42 seconds on the clock or something like that? Mm -hmm. And they're playing for a field goal. Those 42 seconds with timeouts, that, that might as well be two and a half minutes. This time, Kyle Shanahan said no. Gonna take that clock away. Gonna put it in my offense's hands and just manage the clock and the game and keep things in, on our side of the field, basically, in the ball in our hands. That was the number one thing I think Kyle Shanahan did. And it, it, it's just, to me, it puts a lot of my fears to rest if we make the Super Bowl, because it is this finishing of a game that requires more than just play calling. And Kyle Shanahan is a play caller. But in this game, he was a head coach. And that's one of the first times I think we can agree that he managed the game start to finish. It may not be pretty, it may not be a, a signature Shanahan high-powered win, yeah. but it doesn't have to be because it's a dub, and that's all that matters at this point. That's a really good point. I mean, he tried his best to win ugly, to, to not let Jimmy Garoppolo lose the game. I mean, Jimmy threw a pick on his ninth attempt. There's nothing Kyle can do that about that. was a that. terrible interception. It was a terrible that's interception. It was a bad throw decision. Him, throw the ball away. Throw the ball away. For once in your life, please throw the ball away. But no, uh, what was what impressed me the most about what Kyle Shanahan did in this game um, – Watching it again, the, the the coaches film yesterday with Jack. Uh, so when I was there, it all happened fast. And when that last drive happened, I wasn't surprised because he's been doing it all year. But at the same time, like going into it, I'm thinking like, man, he's got nothing working today. What, what is he going to go to on this last drive? And then I didn't really register what he went to in the moment. But I, when I watched the film, the throw to Debo, Debo lined up in the backfield. He ran like a Texas route out of the backfield. I haven't seen them call that for Debo yet. You had that in your back pocket the whole year and you waited this long. And it's like, that's some amazing restraint. I would have called that in the second quarter when things were going wrong. And maybe that was the wrong. You waited until like, all right, well, I got this ace up my sleeve. I might as well. It's like, so now he's Roger Craig in the offense. Essentially you're using him like Bill Walsh would have used Debo. That's well, Packers weren't prepared for that. I mean, I wasn't prepared for that. I was no, they weren't. wide open. And I, and I think in Kyle Shanahan and Jimmy Garoppolo's defense, the drops by Ayuk or Jawan Jennings and Ayuk and George Kittle, but the, the back-to-back drops by Kittle and, and Jawan Jennings, those were huge. Yes. They really were. And they affected the scoreboard and they affected the, 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 the momentum of the, for, of the 49ers yeah. offense. I really think that that game, morally, if those two, those two passes are caught, it's probably at least 16 to 10 it might have been 17 to 10 or something or something like that. Might have even it might have even erased one of the scores, the, the second well, score. The way I look at it is I think, you know, uh, I'm, I'm convinced that there was divine intervention on the on the punt uh block because come on. So uh, the there way are, I see it is God made up yes. the guy. I don't know why George Kittle dropped that touchdown pass, but God was like, that's not fair. It should have been a touch. So he came back and gave the Niners the touchdown that they should have had. It evened out. You know the block as well. So the Green Bay Packers, for those of you who do not know, out of the 32 teams in the NFL on special teams, they are number 32. And they even talked yeah. about special teams going into this game. I believe Matt LaFleur said, "Is we just can't let special teams beat us. Oh, uh, it did. Right, which is actually really bad leadership because it's kind of like, yeah. hey, I've got a good team, but I have a group of guys that sucks. 
Yeah. And I just don't want them to beat us. You know, that's yeah. just horrible. And so coaching. you just sort of kind of created a self-fulfilling prophecy. You know, you know what he is? He's he's from this whole Shanahan tree, right? Yep. He's still doing that, hanging his guys out to dry, putting them under, yep. throwing them under the bus, that sort of thing. Yep. He still does that. But regardless. Yep. Um, he's got that offensive coordinator your... mentality. Like, dude, those are your guys. That's your special right. team. And if they yeah, and you take them and you train them fault. and you coach them. You should you know, coach them better, man. Sorry. Exactly. And now here's yeah. the thing. They were trying to focus on the guys uh, from the outside. Who blocks the guys from the outside? They never get there. And they let the guy on the inside go. Now, the only one that matters on special God. teams is the guy in the middle. He's the yeah. only one that has the, the straight route to the holder. And that's the one guy they let go. And you can see they part like the Red Sea. And there comes like, it's like Moses, okay? I mean, just, just Jimmy Ward. came swear. there. And said, God came down. I was, and I was just there. knocked that yeah. ball down. Yeah, it was God. You should have heard people laughing in the press box because there's a lot of tension in the press box. Not that we're rooting, but we all want to know what's going to happen. And when when in the game it was is so decided, stupid, it was so stupid. It was like, are you okay? All right, that's what we're writing about today. It was really, really an all time moment, man. Plus, the right, reason the Packers there. were there was a gaff by Jimmy Worth where he really blew up himself on his own yeah. coverage, and then yeah. it's like you know, like Kramer would say, "Thou who healeth can you know make it air," but go. in the reverse order now. So it's just. I mean, I'm happy for Jimmy Ward because you know he's just thinking to himself, damn, why was I staring at the running back? Why wasn't I playing safety? And then all of a sudden he's like, I got this. So, you know, that's hey, the thing. He still has the to make that play. To reward the Niners like that, you know they're doing something right and the Packers are doing something wrong. Because I don't yeah, understand that's, that's that straight-up karma. I, I've never seen anything like that. They're, the, not, there's no reason the Niners are still alive right now. They really but should you be. remember on the game-winning field goal, they had 10 men on the field. They had 10 men. The Niners should and be eliminated right they now. Had nine but guys God on the line. Like, nah, man, I love this team. I want oh to keep God. watching Debo. Yeah, it was God, terrible. Nah, they had a 10th guy in the coverage position. Mm -hmm. So they really only had nine people on the line. Yeah, that's great. That's a really good job, Green Bay. I think that's a well, fitting Matt, way for Matt LaFleur, you know, it's like one, two. You know, you have fingers. You have 10 of them most of the time. So, like, you can just – I know he does. So just like count them off. Their arithmetic is really suffering in Green Bay. See, that's what Kyle should have said in the offseason. He's trying to take Aaron Rodgers off his hands. Be like, look, dude, you don't know what to do with this guy. You're going to lose this year. You're going to be the number one seed. You're going to have a week to prepare for us. And you're going to lose because of special teams. Can you just stop wasting Aaron Rodgers' career? Let me do let, Come on. Yeah, I will send you a, a nice bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley. And you give me Aaron Rodgers, right? It's like when you're trying to take your buddy's girlfriend in, in high school. It's like, man, look, she's out of your league, dog. You don't know she's going to leave you. She's, you know, <laughs> come on, man. I mean, she's going to break your heart, man. You, we'll see if Matt LaFleur grows. But, I mean, to not be on, able on the final play of your season, not even count the number of guys going onto the field. Fire him. Fire him. If Look, if Aaron Rodgers retires or, or, or leaves or something, LaFleur's not going to last. I mean, I don't think there are any good scores in Wisconsin. You know, I, I think mathematics is something they all struggle with. But, you know.